Hello, peeps. A while back, the UN decided it was a great idea to try to get Japan to ban sexual violence in media. Obvious. It's like if you have any sense of common, if you have any common sense at all, you realize that this is retarded, and the implications of doing such is a, is monumentous, huge. A destruction of freedom and artistic expression. In any case, the main reason I'm reading, gonna making this video is actually because uh, apparently a representative from Japan had responded to this, and the words that she this woman said made me really fucking happy. So I'm just gonna read this article. And, uh, that's about it. I'll also leave links and stuff in the description for those interested. Female rep Japanese representative refutes UN suggestion to ban media depicting sexual violence. If you may recall, we reported on the United Nations discussing possible banning of games and manga that depict sexual violence against women in Japan. Now... Kumiko Yamada, representative of the Japanese wing of Women's Institute of Contemporary Media Culture, has responded to this. She had quite a bit to say regarding the subject. Her response... We are absolutely in agreement that the protection of the rights of women in Japan is important. On the other hand, we think it should be carefully and seriously evaluated whether the measures taken to ensure that those protections are valid ones or not. If we are asked to consider whether protecting women's rights in Japan requires us to ban the sales of manga and video games depicting sexual violence, then we must reply to that as an absolute no. Reasons for our opinion. Reason number one. The so-called sexual violence in manga and video games is a made-up thing, and as such, it does not threaten the rights of actual people. Therefore, it is meaningless in protecting the rights of women. Reason number two. In Japan, and especially when it comes to manga, these are creative fields that women themselves cultivated and worked hard by their own hand to create careers for themselves. If we were to ban the sale of manga that includes sexual violence, it would do the opposite and instead create a new avenue of sexism towards women. Detailed explanation of reasons. About reason one. It goes without saying that rape and other crimes of actual real people who experience sexual acts from partners without consent is an actual violation of their rights concerning sexual violence and should obviously be forbidden by law. That is necessary to protect and support victims. However, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I lost my place. The, fi the, fi the figures in manga and video games are creative fiction that do not actually exist and thus is not a violation of any real person's human rights. We should focus on attacking the problems that affect real women's human rights as quickly as possible. About Reason 2 In Japan, especially when it comes to manga, these creative fields that women themselves cultivated and worked hard by their own hand to create careers for themselves already in the 70s there were women-focused manga magazines, and many talented women manga writers came fr from them. In this way, before the Equal Opportunity Employment Act of men for men and women passed in 1986, there was already a space for women f where women flourished and had established the shoujo manga genre. And of course, within women's manga, Sometimes the topic was of romance and sex. In this way, it can be predicted that if we were to ban the sale of manga that depicts sexual violence, a great deal of publishers would cease publication of huge amounts of work. 
In the creative field of manga, the effect would be that women who have worked hard, so hard to create a place for, for vibrant careers would it have that place shrink right in front of them, as well as have their efforts negated. In addition, if we were to put ourselves in the place of manga readers, the chance to know about the history of sexual exploitation of women would be lost, and the method of them to come to know about it. If, if the creative fields of manga were attacked, trampled, and destroyed with such prejudice, it would damage not only women and manga writers, but also spread to other women creators in the field, as well as female readers. It would be a sexist punishment that only narrows the career possibilities of Japan's women. Conclusion As stated above, we cannot say that banning the sale of manga and video games that, that depict sexual violence is valid. Even if we were to agree that the goal of protecting women's rights is correct, there is nothing to be gained from regulating fictional sexual violence. However, while you are trying to fix the rights of fictional characters, you're leaving the human rights of w real women in the real world left to rot. As well in Japan, the entire reason we have media genre, such as manga, that developed to take on a theme such as sexual or, uh, exploitation of women came from an attitude to tolerate drinking the pure and dirty without prejudice. It's because we had the freedom to express our views and with that to express the view of the world of humans that live and die that there are pure and wonderful things and dirty and nasty things mixed with each other. Manga is a field where women have to put their hard work and effort cut forward paths and cultivate a place of their own. We believe that in order to pr protect this place from being trampled on, it will ne need our continued hard work to pass it on to the next generation. And it is this effort that will link to a greater freedom and rights of women. End quote. Oh my gosh. You know... I, I, it's, it's so rare, it's so rare for me to find people that have common sense in this world. But dang, but Kumiko Yamada, you have my utmost respect. I don't respect many, I don't truly respect many people in this world. But the level of common sense and passion that you had to tell it how it is, Based on, re you know, realistic reasons. Facts. <sighs> Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you, Kumiko. I, I apologize for that break in the middle as I was making sure uh, I was close enough to, so I could hit be here, heard properly. But that was the article... You know, again, I'll I'll leave links. I'll leave links to this. You know, the original version, I guess, in the description. Maybe like a sub, whatever other channels that talked about it. And uh, that's all. F th 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 thank you, Japan. Thank you, Kumiko. You are freaking awesome. <sighs>